Hello. I'm here today for another story. I've been very busy. I found this, look. It's a mask for our Superhero Tuesday. I'm trying to get organised for that. And I thought I would take this plain mask and I might try and decorate it. So I found this, look. Some lovely, shiny, glittery paper. Can you see it? I thought I might cut some thunderbolts out of that maybe. And then I could go as Miss, or Miss or Madam Thunderbolt, like in our story. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? And I found this old cape, this dressing up cloak in the children's dressing up box. So I might be wearing that one Tuesday. You'll need to wait and see. Are oh, you been busy getting your costumes ready? You know, it doesn't take much to make you feel like a superhero. Sometimes you just need one piece of clothing. And the story that I've got for you today is called Charlie Superhero Underpants. Yes, underpants. So should we start this story and find out how underpants make Charlie feel special? This story was written by Paul, Paul Bright. Here we are, are we ready? Look at the beginning. Bow! Here we are, can you see the pictures all right? On a wild and windy day, round about the end of May, a great and gusting gale blew the washing clean away. Socks and vests, a woolly hat, but far worse than all of that, Young Charlie's superhero underpants. As it soared into the sky, the washing billowed, flapped and swirled until it scattered to the corners of the world. Though they searched for days and nights with boats and planes and satellites, they found no trace of Charlie's underpants. Sad. They had POW across the front in giant letters, bold and black. With kazoop, you see, an oof and splat a little smaller on the back. And villains would take fright as Charlie pulled his pants up tight, his scarlet superhero underpants. Goodness, look at all these people he's managed to save the world from. Charlie packed some sandwiches, some sardines and some soap, a mirror, fan and toothbrush and a big brass telescope. Don't worry and don't wait, he said. I may be back quite late, but I've got to find my scarlet underpants. First, Charlie grabbed a ride with a band in a balloon and they crossed the choppy channel to a bouncy, brassy tune. There they spied a fine French fox wearing Sister Sophie's socks, but they saw no sign of Charlie's underpants. Oh, my goodness, look at these special socks. Can you see them? Charlie hiked across the endless plain of Serengeti where the insects made him itchy and the sunshine made him sweaty. And there he saw a lion with a stripy shirt and tie on, but no scarlet superhero underpants. Charlie climbed and clambered up the plateau of Peru where the breeze that blows at night makes you shiver through and through. And he found a pair of llamas wearing Brother Ben's pyjamas. But he couldn't find his scarlet underpants. Charlie searched the length of the mighty Mississippi, though the Mississippi's muddy and the mud's all soft and slippy. And an alligator sat wearing Grandpa's woolly hat, but it wasn't Charlie's underpants. Oh dear. Poor Charlie. 
Charlie was fed up. He felt lonely, tired and small on a steep and snowy hillside in the mountains of Nepal. When suddenly he saw in that land of ice and cold a huge and hairy creature, something wondrous to behold. Charlie blinked and rubbed his eyes. It couldn't be. It could. For there in Charlie's underpants, Yeti proudly stood. Oh, my goodness, it's the abominable snowman. Gosh, he looks scary. Look at him again. Oh, my goodness. Look, he's got on the underpants. They look a bit tight. My underpants, cried Charlie. They're the ones I love the most. But they're mine now, growled the Yeti. And they keep me warm as toast. I'll swap you, Charlie said. You'll be snug from toes to head if you'll give me back my scarlet underpants. Charlie thanked the Yeti and he pulled his pants up tight. They had pow across the front so he put them on just right. He raised one arm up high and he flew into the sky in his scarlet superhero underpants. <laughs> there we are, see the back of him there? Can zap, oof and splat on his bottom. <coughs> Excuse me. So everybody, I hope you're all staying safe and well. I look forward to seeing all of your costumes. Please do email me photographs and I'll send you out a picture of me in my costume on Tuesday. All right, take care everybody. Stay safe, stay at home. We're missing you just as much as you're missing us and everyone else. But this will pass and we'll soon be together again. All right, take care. See you next time. Bye now. <laughs>